Hey everybody, Ray here. Yes, it is the latest Android and developer preview too. Are you excited? Probably you are. As you click this video, right? If you have a Nexus 6, Nexus 9, 5X, 6P like me, or even an Android One device, and you want to try it yourself, you can join the Android and beta program, which costs you nothing, but a chance to taste the latest software. Of course, the Pixel C and the Nexus Player are also in this program. Anyway, I'm here to share my experience with Android N on my Nexus 6P. It is blazing fast and smooth, like it was. The app drawer is still here, luckily, but some small adjustments are found here and there, like the folder icon. And yes, we finally get a clear all button. The real update, though, is the notification drawer. We can now do so much without leaving the notification shade. The first swipe will bring us not only the time and date, but also quick toggles and shortcuts. Boom! Here we have torch. The second swipe, boom! Settings, which now have two pages. It is Android, so it is customizable. We can arrange the order or even add extra toggles. I really love the new design. It is super handy. More than that, we can interact with the notifications. There is a small arrow on the top left corner. Click and expand it will bring us not just brief but full content of that notification. Apps like Gmail even allows instant reply. Is the extra mile? If you allow it, you can do the same thing even when the phone is locked. Of course, you have to unlock it to get things done. Multi window is a function that I think all manufacturers should add. Now it's here. By long pressing the recent apps key while having an app running will activate the split screen mode. You can choose a recently used app or go back to home screen and choose one. It works really well, but it is not as user friendly as Samsung's approach. There's literally no instruction. App support is also not there. It is quite good. Apps like Amazon, Facebook, and YouTube work fine, but Instagram and some other popular apps are still not supported. But hey, it is developer preview. Everything can change, and it's for developer. Don't expect it to be user friendly, at least at this moment. Speaking of developer, if you really want to explore all the new features. Activate System Tuner by long pressing the setting icon on the top right corner on the notification shade. We can add or disable icons on the status bar. And welcome back, Night Mode. Even this play calibration is added. Now you can fine tune the white balance without rooting the device. Do not disturb is also integrated to the volume control panel. We can now activate it with just one touch. It is also interesting to see the performance boost. Good work, Google. So it's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like this if you like this, and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, this is Ray. See you next time.